In this video, we're going to talk about the uh, Analyst User Interface, or the AUI for short, which is the main entry point for analysts when using the Valkyrie system. The idea is that the analyst can access all these different features from a single integrated interface. They're not jumping about from one system to another, depending on their task. One of the key concepts about the AUI is the use of space. Now, that's not just space to show more data points, but space for the analyst to uh, organize their data and reason with their data. And that's why we came up with this idea of what we call the XY display. These two monitors arranged not side by side, but one above the other. And that provides different distances from the analyst to the data. So up close, they've got this space where they can assemble and construct their arguments and reason with the data. Back from that is the Parker Mull area where the analyst may want to put things to one side uh, just to sort of let them sit for a while. And then right at the back is an area for situational awareness and context, which may give the analyst more leads or, or lines of inquiry to explore. These three spaces we call the thinking landscape. For the area where the analyst can assemble and construct the data, we've actually also thought about different interaction modalities, for example the use of multi-touch, where it makes sense for the analyst to have this direct interaction with the data through uh, touch interaction so that they can arrange and stack the data as if they were arranging papers on a desk. And we also find there are other simple interactions, such as panning and zooming a map, that works much better with multi-touch than it does with mouse. When we think about how the analysts can use this space, they have a suite of tiles available to them through the AUI. Now these tiles could be uh, visualization tiles, so uh, spatial views, temporal views, etc., cetera. Uh, or they can be uh, data cards. So a card that represents a single data point but provides as much detail and context about the data point as possible. Then, depending on the task, the analyst can choose uh, which views they want to use and how they want to arrange these views. For example, if they're making a dashboard, uh, they may want to have uh, you know, things that are important for uh, looking at uh, the last seven days of crime, so when they occurred, where they occurred, uh, etc. Or as a different example, analysts might be trying to reason through pieces of evidence to solve a particular case, uh, in which case, they'll be looking through these different data cards, arranging them, uh, grouping them, uh, and it's viewing them in different perspectives, uh, annotating relationships between them. The idea is that the AUI provides this fluidity to allow the analyst to use it as they see fit, depending on their given task. The Concept Explorer combines several visual analytics techniques to differentiate crimes based on interesting features that are in the data. For example, if there are smashed windows, if there is stolen jewelry or money, or if the alarm was activated during the crime. The analyst is provided with interactive visualizations for exploring and understanding these interesting features of the data, but also for understanding uh, groupings of similar crimes. So the search tool is uh, built from a search field, like a Google search field, where you put terms um, and this practically uh, find records uh, in the data, as well as um, different uh, views that we call cards uh, that allow you to visualize the data and refine the search. We build the search tool uh, in parallel with Valkyrie and we build it together with a Belgium uh, police forces that are partners in Valkyrie. So we build it tailored to their needs and to their data and to the specific problems that they have in this data. So the video analysis tool allows the analyst to get important information about pre-analyzed video analysis annotations from the video items which are captured by the CCTV cams, that the analyst can, uh, let me say, go to certain positions where some activities are, or to skip those positions where no activities appear. If analysts are going to make sense of the masses of information that we're making available to them, then we need to take advantage of what we know about the way the eyes and the brain work. And we're using the latest research in information visualization and techniques from visual analytics to inform the multiple link graphics that we've designed. And this allows us to present information in ways that are accessible and interpretable. And the graphics that we've designed encourage analysts to detect patterns, and the fluid interactions we've produced help the analysts see links, make comparisons, and explore data effectively. And we do this in a really interactive workspace. 
Valkyrie has a wide range of dynamic, resizable and reconfigurable views of the different data sets that we use. And these include maps and timelines and networks and statistical graphics. And these all take advantage of the latest ideas in research and design to show different aspects of the data sets in consistent ways. By bringing all these features together into a single interface, we allow the analyst to fluidly transition from looking at uh, large volumes of unsolved crimes down into very specific uh, collections of data that, that might be related. Um, from these collections, we can get the system to then help us uh, identify similarities in the modus operandi, or we can uh, allow the analyst to, to make those connections and explicitly state those relationships. Our hope is that this uh, novel yet intuitive interface liberates analysts from the more laborious tasks and gives them the time and space to really explore, reason with, and connect their data.